Hey, what's going on everyone? Bobby from Repair Shopper here with another Featured Friday video. This week we're going to be talking about an update we made to the assets when you're creating a ticket and after ticket creation that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. So let's jump over to the ticket creation screen and I've already filled the fields out here. It used to be that there was an asset button that you would click similar to this ticket appointment button and a modal would pop up where it would list all of the assets and then if you wanted to create a new one, you'd click another button and yet another modal would pop out and it wasn't super convenient and it took a lot of time. So based on feedback that we've taken in, we've gone ahead and just added the asset section directly to the ticket creation screen, just like it is on the ticket workflows. From here, you can select from existing assets or you can click this to create a new one. No pop-up or anything, it just jumps to where you can create the asset on one screen. In this case, I'm just gonna pick an existing one, hit add. Uh, you'll be able to see some basic information about the asset on the ticket creation screen. That way you know you picked the right one. And go ahead and create the ticket. So let's go ahead and do that. And this brings me to the next update. So. For those of you that have been around a while, you know that once an asset's attached to a ticket, you had to click on the ticket details to uh, edit the ticket, and then there used to be a button for assets. Well, now the asset section's on the right side. Thank you for that feedback, by the way. You can see attached assets. Um, you can create a new asset from here, or you can add an existing one, all from within the page. I'll go ahead and hit add. To that, uh, you can also now click to edit, print, or remove the asset from the ticket. That's a completely new section as well. All of this is is from direct user feedback, and I I definitely appreciate everyone's time in submitting your requests into us. And the goal of this was to reduce the total amount of clicks you had, while also increasing options available to you directly from the ticket screen to hopefully improve uh, your 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 timing on tickets and allow your technicians to see more info while still being able to cruise through things quickly. So just to recap again, big new changes are directly from this screen, you can hit the new button to create a new asset. You can choose from an existing list by clicking this one. There is uh, the ability to edit assets, uh, print labels, and remove the asset from the ticket option available directly within the ticket details screen as well. And then the new ticket, the new ticket creation screen has the asset creation directly on it. Go to that and show you one more time here. There's this add asset section with the dropdown and the create new options as well. Once again, thank you everyone for your feedback. Really hope you enjoy this new feature and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.